Somebody's got to do it. And then we let you be the judge, the jury, and the executioner in the court of public opinion. Coming to you live from the Lincoln Lodge. Woo! Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I'm Officer Kevin. And I'm Officer Grant. If this is nothing but an elaborate, just plane crash, this show so far. This is great. No, Grant, that was beautiful. I, w- I don't know if you saw, but I was crying. I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> My tears were shimmering in these sort of house lights. It's beautiful. Um, I can't figure out how to get this computer to work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe we've been doing this for over 200 episodes? Four <laughs> years, everybody. This yeah. is a well-oiled machine that just does not function. Look at this. <laughs> but this we love you. Yeah, you're here. How the fuck do I drag this over? Is it Google.com? Oh, don't worry. Google.com. Oh, I got it. It's fine. Okay. Oh, that's let's, great. Let's do the show. Let's do the hey, show. Look, we have a guest. Whoa! Don't tell me. Hey, don't tell me. Is it? Is it Aaron Clopper? But that's him. Yeah, he's in the flesh. Oh my God. What's up? What's up? Hey, under those guys, a little. What are they? Frogs or aliens? Who? Which Budweiser. Which frog? They're frogs, thank you, Brendan. Oh, the, the Budweiser frogs, hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, fellas, uh, this is the only thing uh, PC about this show. <laughs> Woo! No, hey. no, it's a good show, you're in a good place. Everyone Dude, if this was story. television, they, they take that big cane and yank you with it. Yeah. They get you right out of there. I miss the cane. <laughs> isn't, isn't society the cane now? Oh, <laughs> wow, we are. Cancel culture, everybody. It's It's gone too far yet again. So we're glad to be back. Obviously, um, we haven't done a live show since uh, pre-pandemic. Um, that's over now, apparently. Uh, you can just walk right in wherever the hell you want to go. Not wearing a mask. I don't see any masks out there. Not a single one. That's fine. I got my shot. I you know. wearing one. You were. Somebody had to be responsible. And somebody has to be the bad boy. Somebody has to be the adult. Yes. It's like my hero Jordan Peterson says, clean your room, <laughs> wash your dick. <laughs> Must have missed that lecture. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah. You know, we're here in person again. Uh, Tim- who's, who's, like, who hasn't left their, who is it this, I'm going to get it. It's, it's their first time being in a place that's not their home. Right Besides now. you. Besides me. Anyone? Nobody? I can't see through these glasses, so I don't know if anybody's I mean, like, Define I mean, a place. A, a, any place. <laughs> Whose first live comedy show experience is this since the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're going to get to it next time, because this doesn't count. <laughs> <sighs> well, I got kind of winded from beating up that computer. I'm sort of embarrassed to say. Did you guys have to send a check to office space for that? Uh, only, we didn't play the song, so I think we're good. Is Aaron's mic working? Can people hear him? Yeah, trying to silence my truth? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Silenced yet again. Unbelievable. It happens. It happens. So, uh, let me pull up the show document here. A little peek behind the curtain. Who, who, hasn't, who doesn't know who we are and doesn't know why we beat up a computer and pretend it to be Jordan Peterson? Anybody? Make, some, make some fucking noise! <laughs> All right. All right. Good. We're, we're among friends here. <laughs> so yeah, like Kevin said, every week uh, we go through what's outraging the internet. Um, and usually we start that by a segment that's everybody's favorite and famous. Oh! And whatever whatever <laughs> the wording is for that. That um, very famous, very favorite segment of the show that I like to call Two Minutes of Hate. 
We want to blanket punish all that annoying, random crap that we see on the internet every single day. Because who, who, a, a show of hands, uh, make some noise. Who's addicted to their, uh, their freaking cell phones, people? Uh, I want to see everybody's. Yeah, I want to go by the uh, See everybody's screen time. Who's on Twitter? Uh, nine hours a day, like me. Everyone's not clapping. They're the fucking Unabomber. Yes. Bye. <laughs> we will be watching you later. Uh, but yeah, we like to just blanket punish all this, uh, just this useless information here. Uh, so my two minutes of hate this week is uh, shameless meme pandering in TVs and movies as a struggle for relevancy. So that may sound a little bit wordy, but this is, uh, Grant, if you want to pull up the um, pictures here. If I can figure out. Uh, other way, other way. Fuck! <laughs> So, as, you, as round you, of applause for me, everybody. As you'll see here, <laughs> as you can see, we're looking at a picture from uh, iCarly and the iCarly reboot. So, in the on the left is the original, on the right is the reboot. Now, on the left is the meme. Everybody, you know, it's a little reaction image to share with your friends because you don't know how to talk to anybody anymore. On the right is a shameless pandering attempt to say, hey, you may not remember the show or care about us, but you have been on Twitter. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, we see The Simpsons, uh, Simpsons classic show. This is a great cartoon. Um, check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, now that's, that, this is uh, Homer Simpson. He is uh, Bart's father. And what happens in The Simpsons? Can you explain to us? Uh, yeah, what's he, the, the synopsis? I think he like sells propane or something. <laughs> and, uh, Got a son named uh, Stewie. <laughs> That's nice because you know it seems like today all we see on the television and is violence and uh, sex, sex and <laughs> anyway. Uh, so we can see here there's a classic scene on the right from a uh, uh, prime season of The Simpsons where Homer is sifting into the bushes to get away from his uh, his awful nasty neighbor Ned Flanders. And on the left is a screenshot from a recent episode where Homer, or no, I believe it's Lisa, is sending a gif of her father uh -huh. drifting into the into the bushes because, again, it's like, hey, nobody gives a fuck about The Simpsons anymore. However, uh, you all have it on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, so that is supposed to be a little relatable moment. And if you want to scroll down, Grant, I got one more uh, prime example for you here. Show of hands here, who saw the Sonic the Hedgehog movie on Valentine's Day by yourselves? I, I saw it with uh, I saw it with my friends uh, alone. I saw it with my friend Josh back here. Oh yeah, Josh is on tech. How about that? Nice little shout out, Josh. What did you think of the movie? I didn't see that. Oh, nobody can hear you. He said he wasn't there. Nice. So I invented a, a new Josh. So as we as we can see here, the or the, one of the guys, he's like, I seen this blue hedgehog running around, and he's holding up a picture of uh, Sonic, which is a meme from the internet where it's a poorly drawn Sonic the Hedgehog. Very funny. Uh, this gets butts in the theater seats, folks. Uh, so if you're there and you're sitting there and you're like, this it seems like a waste of time and money and effort and just about everybody's attention span. They drew a picture of Sonic. How exciting is that? Yeah. So, I think it's stupid, and I think it's dumb, and I think that just don't make stuff if nobody cares about it. They should have canceled The Simpsons when the 90s were over. They should have... I don't have a strong opinion about iCarly, but I don't like what they've done to the franchise by memeing it, and then Sonic the Hedgehog just put that guy out of his fucking misery. I mean, he's like pushing, like, 40, he's just, he's getting into all sorts of weird he's party not drugs. He's a cool teenager. Right? No, he's not. He dresses like he is, but he's not. Don't let him fool you. He only wears a pair of shoes. It's disgusting. <laughs> so, uh, my, my punishment for uh, all these all these people in these studios that are I guess I'll just make it simple. Uh, kill Sonic. Put him. Put a needle in his arm. Ah, damn. And uh, you know, just put him on. How many his... beloved characters have we killed on this show? Oh, too yes. many. Too many to count. Four years. <laughs> too many. And I, I'll have to unfortunately throw Homer Simpson on the stack there as well. Um, <laughs> apparently, he like grew up in the '90s. Now, have you guys seen this on like the new season? There's like a flashback where Homer was a beatboxer in the 1990s. And I'm like, I remember watching the show in that time period, and I don't remember Homer doing that stuff, actually. So, 
not only is it stupid, but it's very confusing. I feel like there's women in the crowd who like are having flashbacks of bad first dates. <laughs> <of women's laughs> and then they say, sex is not even funny anymore. It's like, it just feels like every first date in Logan Square. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like now you're obliged to show everyone your tattoo. Oh, yeah, I got this. Is I also showed this off on the first date, too. If you can see that. It's uh, <laughs> sort of a season six moment. Um, as we all know, the six months that it didn't. Yeah. That's good. I got a picture of Bart's, <laughs> Bart's father. Um, oh, hey, you guys asked me if I saw a Sonic movie. Did, did you see the Sonic? I tried, but it was a thing all, thing all too fast. <laughs> so, that's it. Look, I haven't performed since March, but this is actually what I do even if I was performing every night. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Eric, let's move right along to your two minutes of hate. I want to hear what's bugging you, my friend. Okay, okay, two minutes of hate. Okay, you guys fuck with TikTok and the, like, you ever see like the rich kids in like Brooklyn with their like really nice flat? Uh, and that flat. itself, like they have like a, like a 4,000 square foot flat, like these two pretty Same. like, well, like you can't see their pores, like that's how happy these people are. <laughs> and that's fine. There's always going to be rich kids, but what I hate is the comments. It's all people praising them for mysteriously just being able to afford a loft in Brooklyn and looking happy and young. Like, what the fuck did their parents do? You they know, like, for this view. <laughs> yeah, right. No, but they didn't. Like, if they did, like, it's just like they had a job from their dad. But, like, what I'm concerned about is, like, a bunch of 14-year-olds on TikTok are like, yeah, this is what New York should be like. But why do you think they could afford that apartment? Like, that's a big, I mean, like, a lot of kids these days are like, I want to grow up to be Ninja. I want to grow up to be PewDiePie. And it's like, <laughs> there can only be, like, two or three of those. And even then, they're pretty bad. So No, these were not, like, they weren't, like, the descendants of Twitch gamer parents. These were, like, Wall Street, like, shed baby blood for big old mansions. <laughs> Damn. Even better when those people tell you how to become a millionaire, and their first thing is, like, just rent off your parents' like, place that they gave you. Uh, so, like, uh, live with your parents, and then rent off their place. Yeah. Well, also, just make your parents' money for them for you. That sounds easy. Yeah. Yeah. But you can play video games all day, that's pretty chill. <laughs> but if you're, like, rich, and you have, like, a nice place, fine, but, like, if it's from your parents, you shut the fuck up, and just, like, post dumb on their TikTok. You just have to date. If your parents are rich, your role on TikTok, just do dumb dances. That's what you do. You hide your wealth and you just do silly little dances. That's my two minutes I hate. And that's a brilliant punishment too. Thank you, Aaron. My two minutes of hate. Yes. That's fucking... Which, do I go right or left? I go right. You're on the right screen. <laughs> My two minutes of hate. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. Nobody looked. <laughs> oh. My two minutes of hate is, um, I, somehow this never came up on the show as we've done the show, but the terminally online, and I know what you're all thinking, which is, you, you've already seen two of us talk about this stuff. This is already insane. But, like, this is the show, right? This is entertainment. This is comedy. Um, this is it's supposed to be a, a thing where you present some of this shit and whatever, but people who, their, their whole thing is that they live online and they go on certain message boards and then they go to like a normal person in normal life, like working a normal job, and they like pretend that there's no difference between the internet and real life. And I get that that sort of intermeshed, inter intermingled at this point, that it's all sort of this miasma of garbage bullshit that we consider to be the 21st century, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But, like, there's some people that just don't... What the fuck are you saying? He wants to say something. I got Go it. ahead. Sorry. I'm yeah. like a dog. But it's like, I, <laughs> but I'm guilty of this. I was in a Starbucks, and, like, a toddler just screamed, like, I have to poop, and just ran to the bathroom, and I just said to the parent, like, when you have your first coffee... <laughs> what's not sad is I said it. What's sad is the parent laughed like that. Oh, that God. this is a thing I could say without getting shot in the head. You know, like that's, that's what's a sad thing. But that's like a, a cute little meme that you did. I'm talking about people who get like like people that get Pepe tattoos. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's terminally online. What if I just like took my shirt off? I just had like a Russian tattoo of Pepe, just like <laughs> like big old like prison tattoo, huge Yakuza style. <laughs> I don't know that you don't have that. So yeah. I, I've never seen shirtless. I'm gonna believe you do. I'm I'm Jewish, so like. Just <laughs> Judaism says no Pepe tattoos. Every other tattoo is totally gay. <laughs> yeah. The whole frog thing. 
<laughs> Sorry, so, I fucked you up, but so, no, you're upset, Grant. Please tell this us. The terminally ill people like that, or people that you know say things like that, where it's just like, okay, we we get it. You go on four chan or eight chan or however many chans there are. You you go online, and here here's the thing. And I I have a graphic here. <laughs> I saw it earlier. Don't uh, fucking look. So this is um. <laughs> One of Jordan B. Peterson's favorite, um, one of his favorite cultural anthropologists, uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, laid out the hero's journey. As, at the top, you can see the three of us up here. Where's the step where you inherit money from your parents and invest in your that's, that's not on here. So the three of us are on here, right? We're the heroes, okay? As you can imagine, we're the... What are, what are the main character of the day, or whatever. Well, like uh, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Arkham yeah, Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. And then what? Did, like you can see laid out in the Heroes Quest. There's the call to adventure. You go on your phone. You pull up Twitter, whatever. You know, you go on the internet, right? Um, and then the supernatural aid, Justin Wang retweets you. <laughs> obvious, obvious yeah. stuff. And then, you know, this this bottom level right here, this is the abyss. This is all the bad shit, but you gotta go past the bad shit and you go back to normal life because that's the whole thing with the hero's journey is you go back to normal society and you teach them the journey. And some people, they're just down here. They're down here in the abyss the whole time and they just <laughs> put that on everybody else. It's awful. No, correct me if I'm wrong here. If we just stopped doing the show, we wouldn't end up back down there, would we? What if we stop you in there? So if we don't do that top step, we don't have to well, go. Well, no, because we do the show, and that's the abyss part. But then we go back into normal life, and we have normal friends, and we just go to a bar and talk about normal things. Sure. Maybe we saw the big game last night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> things like that. <laughs> um, and then here's here's a quote from another one of uh, Jordan Peterson's. Um, <laughs> One of his Some people don't know you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> one of his favorite philosophers. Live comedy. <laughs> <laughs> from one of his favorite philosophers, uh, Friedrich Nietzsche, who says, uh, he who fights with monsters should be careful lest he thereby become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss will gaze into you. That's also from Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> Nietzsche wrote that about his mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be careful, Aaron. We're gonna get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Kane, um, anyone? So my my punishment here. Um, my punishment. Uh, <laughs> those of you who don't know, we have a wheel here. Oh! It's the wheel of punishment. It's like the Animaniacs, but punishment. You remember the wheel of morality? Spin, 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 tell us the lesson that we will learn. No one gives a fuck about the Animaniacs anymore! The reboot's really good. Uh, Clockwork Orange. Okay. <laughs> uh, if, if you're one of these people who uh, goes on 4chan, 8chan, whatever chan, uh, and you, you spread that to the rest of the world, who's just trying to, we're all just trying to make a quick buck, you sure. know? Just trying to do our job, trying to exist in global capitalism. Uh, if you're one of these people, uh, you gotta go on that website with those those eyeball things from a clockwork orange and just fucking stare <laughs> at it until you go blind. Yeah. Wow. That's my two minutes of hate. On that note, I got I was at the eye doctor today and I got my eyes dilated and I couldn't see my phone screen for four hours. Or some of the best four hours I ever had. <laughs> Are you happier now? I mean not anymore. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want these? No, I'm fine now. Thank also, you. I like that we snuck in like literally like the last Miss Poor June team to like talk about our shit. Like it's just like three white guys are like, let's let's squeeze in right till midnight. Yeah, <laughs> just to talk about what bothers us online. We got some time. Unfortunately, we're going past midnight, so we are... <laughs> don't tell anybody. Uh, hold on, Grant. I'm like, I can't see my something's wrong. I, we're getting like a hijack signal. Signal. Something's oh. wrong. Oh, there's a planned bit here, and I can't figure out how to do it. I don't know which. Oh, oh! I no. don't even know which side of the screen the mouse is on. Wait, hold on. I found it. Never mind. Stalling, stalling, stalling. I can't believe this. My wow! Your 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 whole phone is being hijacked by a signal. A, a thing is happening. Other way. I think it's other other way. way. I still can't fucking get it right. 
<laughs> and that's the wrong video. That, that's no, 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 no. Wait, try. Fuck. Folks, would you believe computers these days? Quick computers. It's like I said, order. It's like Jordan Peterson said, order and chaos. You know, yeah, this stop. is the chaos part. This is what he was warning us about. All right, hold on, hold on, I got it. Why is it full screen? That's why it's not moving over. It's full screen. Okay, no, I got it. Other yeah, way, other way, other way, other way. Other way, other way. <laughs> Now, hey, right. there's a big triangle you Like play. we said, oh, there's an emergency. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. What could this be? Let's talk for the uh, transmission. I have a question for the superheroes. Is that you know, crimes? Uh, most superheroes I know are not exactly big fans of eating pussy. <laughs> oh! If you think about it, the quickest path to uh, people respecting your superheroes is respecting women. And by respecting women, you eat pussy. <laughs> you are not allowed to, or you don't want to. Um, so I have a compromise. Instead of eating pussy, um, you can just be gay. Um, <laughs> and Should we watch this first? Take man loads to the face. And, you know, uh, it helps normalize being gay. And as your superhero, it's a social, socially helping people who are gay. And um, <laughs> let's be real. Enforced heterosexuality, not a vibe. <laughs> okay, uh, that's enough on a Grimes. I can't believe that Grimes <laughs> sends an instant transmission to the show and <laughs> scramble <laughs> our signal. <laughs> what an <laughs> honor, it's so <laughs> seamless. Like this being their character idea, just like vaguely horny jigsaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some... <laughs> well, let's, let's help him out here. What would Jigsaw say if he was horny? Okay, uh, maybe you want to play a, a sexy game. We could just we could skip uh, past it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's got any handcuffs or something like that. Uh, the keys inside your penis. My cousin took me to that for my like 12th birthday. I'm just getting flashbacks. Now. Saw? Yeah, Saw. Wow. You ever seen Saw 6? <laughs> I'm, more a, I'm more of a soft five guy. Jigsaw's a pony. <laughs> Nobody look at my. Really? Yeah, he's like. He kills a bunch of insurance brokers. That's tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing this just so that people have something to look at as we pretend to talk about things. As we fumble oh, through the jigsaw. No, we got it. We got it. Uh, jigsaw. So what's. Uh, Listen, listen, there enough of this crap. I just want to get to the meat and potatoes potatoes of the show. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if you haven't listened to Thought Cops before, every week we investigate the internet's outrage-inducing news stories and then sentence each perpetrator to an often quite cruel and unusual punishment. So let's get right to it. Grimes mentioned it. Uh, <laughs> Batman doesn't eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No, listen, Batman, a uh, personal hero of mine, uh, he told me he ate pussy, but he's a liar. I don't know why he told me that, but he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. He told you that? Yeah, I don't know why he fucking told me that. It was weird. He's drunk. It was scary. <laughs> but he told me that he eats pussy, and apparently he doesn't, because there's supposed to be a comic, some sort of comic book. Or bad man was supposed to eat pussy. <laughs> uh, wanna pull that up, Jamie? I mean, Grant? Thank you. That's, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, Batman, there's some comic book where he's supposed to eat Catwoman's pussy, and uh, DC said no. They said, oh. they said, heroes don't do that. Oh. What the fuck does that mean? Heroes don't do that. They eat ass, not pussy. <laughs> they really should have clarified. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah, so I guess it was a, uh, some sort of, well, I don't know. I, you, you can read the whole thing there. I didn't do my homework. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see that. So I guess he was supposed to eat pussy and they told him no. Uh, very sad. Everybody's crying. It's, uh, it's Harley Quinn is also. I'm not reading all this fucking shit. Uh, it's incredibly gratifying to three characters uh, use. Not going example. Uh, who, yeah. So he he doesn't eat. He doesn't eat women out. We thought he was a feminist, and Batman's apparently not a feminist. Wow. You think you know somebody? You'll figure. Now, if you can pull up this image, Grant, because it's they say no. They they were clear when they said that heroes. Don't eat pussy. Now I'm talking about the villains. I'm talking about I'm talking about somebody who is actually um, dare I say a little bit twisted. Uh, so as you can see here in this image that's about to unfold, the Joker has earned his red wings. 
Hello, Batman. You have uh, to break your one rule tonight. <laughs> You're gonna eat my pussy back. <laughs> 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 If you wanted to let me break your one rule tonight, you wouldn't see a trick. <laughs> no, Joker, obviously, as you can see, he's uh, he's not afraid to go down there anytime. Where's her pussy? I've been watching a lot of Dark Knight. What's up? <laughs> Brent, you got a link here. I know that, um... Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, okay. So, the, it's... <laughs> Similar to another superhero. <laughs> a personal hero of everybody's, of course. Uh, yes. oh, oh, <laughs> to be fair, it's because he wants to go to heaven. <laughs> this is important, everybody. Take notes. You know, my way of phrasing is called... How she living in, you got all the clothes you did. Take care of your family and take care of my family. You know, put in the work. They say like, you don't go down. Nah, nah. That's what I'm going to do down. I don't. <laughs> you understand? <know what laughs> you know you know like, 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 nah, 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 I don't know. do that. I don't do that. I don't. Not even like my birthday. Nah, this is Christmas. No, you Christmas. You're saying like, I do my well, So now she told you she don't do that. Turn this crap okay? off. I'm upset. I'm not. It's not okay. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> the only conclusion we can make is that Batman is probably <laughs> DJ Cal. <Khaled. laughs> <laughs> now, someone very important has weighed in on the issue. Uh, if you could pull up that final link there. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, my God. I just like, you know, obviously we throw these notes together. Before we do the show, because that's how we do. I just keep imagining show. how he told his wife. Like, did he say it like that, or was it? No, 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 I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled, same, same guy. Um, I, I don't know. No, if you can, does he just point to Platinum Records every time she asks? Just like, <laughs> see that three million hits. You see, just like every time. All right, so well, this is this is gonna be shocking, folks. Grace, this, this is breaking news. This is. Either today or yesterday, I really don't know the difference in days right now. I'm very sick, but uh, who saw? I don't have uh, COVID. It's not COVID. Oh my god! I'm vaccinated. Who saw the I'm Justice regular League? Sick. Regular Justice League. Who saw that crap? Yeah, I did. Who saw? Who saw the Snyder Cut? Yeah, I did. Who saw the four-hour piece of shit that was? No, <laughs> Zach. Zach Snyder himself posted this image, and he said, "Canon." Which means that this is true. And no, uh, eventually it's going to load and you'll get to see it. Powerful. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly what this is from or if it's fan art. Maybe he drew it himself. I don't know how long it's been on his phone, but he had, he had this ready to go. This is bad. Yeah, yeah, this is bad. I have to face my fears. <laughs> I have to go back into the cave. <laughs> I must face the cave. <laughs> now, take, take this this is where it all started. <laughs> That's a hero. That's a hero, folks. <laughs> like the the logistic. We all know she's wearing some sort of a suit, right? Is is the the pretext that it's like zipped down or like I don't know. Man. I love is it. it like the bat signal in the background. Yeah, like Gordon's right. like, we need your help. <laughs> <laughs> So we we got we got to we got to punish uh, I guess DC. I think that the uh, the next they did show. cancel culture on Can Caningulus. Can I can't say the word. Was that was that big old energy movie? Con 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 Zack Snyder, let him direct it. I want to see the Flash eat pussy. I want to see Superman eat pussy. I want to see... Who are the other ones? Green Lantern. Peter Griffin. Peter Gr I want to see Peter Griffin going down on Lois's red muff. Am I right? Come on. Yeah. And swing. And I want Quagmire to sit there and watch it. Let's move on. Copy me, copy me. <laughs> Let's uh, speaking of uh, things that are uncomfortably sexual. Uh, Jeff, oh, Jesus, yes. 
Jeffrey Tubin is back. Remember that guy? Tubin with the Tube Man. Uh, Anybody Jeff- unfamiliar or familiar with the Tube? Let's That's bring a up the speech. Question. Let's bring up the speech. So Jeffrey Tubin, he was a legal analyst for CNN, and uh, he was on a Zoom call with his co-workers. <laughs> He left his camera on during the unfortunate act of, am I saying it right, masturbation? Is that, uh, is that right? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is four years in the making, pal. This is, this is good stuff. So, so he gets fired from CNN for, for doing this because it's not a thing that you want to do. I think that's wrong. They shouldn't have been you think it's wrong? They should have promoted it. <laughs> and so they they hired him back. Um, and this was his, his first day back at work. Now, if you thought that your first day at work was bad. Yeah, you, you, you're like, oh, I don't want to go into the office. We'll watch this. Imagine someone caught, like, imagine all your coworkers caught you jerking off in the office, and then you showed back up and people had to... It's something you don't have to imagine. I mean, maybe that happened. <laughs> well, yeah, for him it did. So, uh, here's, here's Jeffrey Tubin. Tubin around. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. I feel like we should address um, what's happened in the months since we've seen you, since some of our Viewers may not know what has happened, so uh, no, I guess I'll recap. Like, I'll do the honors. You were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from the New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes during the oh, <laughs> That's <laughs> masturbating on camera. Uh, you were subsequently fired from that job after oh. like seven years of working there, and. You since then have been on leave from CNN. Do I have all that? Mm-hmm. Um, you got it all right. <laughs> 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 um, um, Jay Leno, love that call. <laughs> she wants well, to. Obviously, uh, I wasn't thinking very well. Very much. <laughs> totally, Jeff. Um, Jeffrey. Oh, wow. It's been right, a while. Oh, that's enough. Of you. Like how? That's like. I mean, they had to be like getting off on that alone. I mean, why the fuck did they bring that guy back? I don't know. Just to do that? I mean, if, they, if it was just to do that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> journalism is really hard, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's horrible. I like. I wish he was on C-SPAN. You know, just like because there's like video callers during it, just someone calling in, like, yeah, um, there's someone jacking off on my TV right now. <laughs> As an American, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Let's hear some American voices, though. But we got him back. The 27 years on the force, you know, you got you got you just got a little slip up. No big deal. Get back in the office. You just kind of go like, well, I guess I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> you were masturbating in front of the fucking world. Also, like at that age to bust in seven minutes is pretty impressive. You know, like it's in, aren't they like after 50? Aren't you like part of like the 30 minute club? I don't know. Yeah, how long was the other call for? No, the break was seven minutes. So he was like, minutes. I was like, I got. Just imagine being fifty. You're like, I could bust in five minutes. That, <laughs> that's that's he's healthy. That's the kind of confidence <laughs> that we need to like rid men of. I think not to be all high horsey with my feminism over this here. This is but not we need to do away with. Some, he should not think that, and that shouldn't happen. Is the no, whole thing. No, he's clearly so. fucked up. But this is not. Well, yeah, yeah. He's like an X Men. Like if you're fifty and you could come that quick, that's incredible. It it sounds like I, <laughs> now it sounds like I just fucked like fifty year old. That's why I've been doing the whole pandemic. <laughs> you know, your people are leaving now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is it's like they're like oh I, I made them think about how long it takes their dad to come that's what happened uh, I want everyone to take a moment I know what's why like, we're close at home, right? like how long do you think it takes for your dad to come oh, really oh, this, yeah. oh. this, this is art okay you should do like an auction like one do, do, I, do, I, hear, do I hear one do I hear two yeah, it's, it's, three, five, it's five minutes going once going twice six minutes for your father's home. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's move on. Let's punish him though. Uh, I'll stop talking for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> no, we need this. We need this kind of clarity. This post-not clarity. 
I think um, now that they brought him back, they should just fire him again. Just yeah. be like, we, we yeah. got our use out of you. This was funny. We drove up ratings. They're talking about it on Thought Cops. They, oh, oh, are they? Yeah. I think that he should masturbate again. Fuck it. Fire him then. You know? Make it a hat trick. Come back, do should, it again. Shut up Fox News and be like, they want to stifle, they want to stifle my freedom. You know? Just, like, no, actually, no, after this, he goes on Joe Rogan. He's like, you can masturbate here, man. You can smoke weed, you can fucking jerk You got three hours, man. Do it. <laughs> Speaking of Joe Rogan, though, let's get to our next story on the docket here. I should have worn polarized lenses to look at this fucking screen. <laughs> so, someone had a, uh, a beautiful, romantic marriage proposal in the sky uh, in Los Angeles this past week. Uh, so someone proposed to a Molly Pratt via a sky message over the weekend that said, I love you more than anything, and till death do us part. However, the message continued, and it said, P.S., one more thing, one more thing, Joe Rogan is literally five foot three. <laughs> I'll play the video here. There it is. Now pay, Wait, pay close uh, attention. I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta hit play. I gotta, I gotta. Joe Rogan is lineally uh, five uh, foot three. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. This is a key to the city. This isn't a, a normal story. We're this not getting out of this. This is brilliant. No, because I have I have some words for this. Number one, right. obviously we could all see it was spelled wrong. Number two, Wikipedia says he's five foot seven. Uh, number three, I want to I want to quote my dear friend Aaron on Twitter, who said, "Listen, like him or hate him, don't agree with Joe Rogan." Well, I start off with saying I, he sucks. That's yeah, you say okay. I'll, I'll let I'll let you say he sucks. And well, there's people pol- who agree with you politically who are five three also. To me, so just feel, also I'm six one. So like this is not me just being like. Like defending myself, I don't know. I just like it feels like I'm a leftist, but it feels like a lazy part of leftism, where it's just like let's just shit other people's bodies because they disagree with us, you know. And then right. it's just weird. I That's agree the with difference that. between uh, regular leftism or regular political activism, and then online political activism, which, as we discussed, is us. The internet's See, not real. Exactly. The the person that did this whole shtick of doing the the uh, the lettering in the sky, whatever you call it. What do you call it? Sky lettering. I believe so. Um, the person that did the skyline, that's like a terminally online person. Yeah. You know, that's one That's one of the people that I'm talking about. I read that service cost $10,000. What a fucking waste of money. You know, it's like, I know you got to propose to your sweetheart, but like, why do you have to add the other thing onto it? And it just, again, like, these, okay, who cares if he was five foot three? It's like, again, some of, some of my best friends are probably five foot three. I don't know. <laughs> imagine this, imagine you're the woman in this situation, and this is the greatest moment of your life that your, your beloved is proposing to you. And then it's like, also Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just let it go. You know, it does, like, this is about you and her. Don't mention him. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So yeah, the AV Club wrote an article about it too, and again they said, yeah, he's not technically five foot three, but for all intents and purposes, now he is because that's what we believe. So my punishment here, um, I'm just gonna bump him on the head really hard so he, he turns into five foot three. Uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, so like maybe Whatever, he, yeah. he like runs and he, he perhaps touches like a Goomba or a Koopa or something. He and becomes he, like why Joe Rogan, yeah. like that meme, the meme of uh, why Putin. Sure. I don't even know this that. Why Putin? Three people. Three people. Let's make some fucking noise for why Putin. This sucks. <laughs> also, I can't explain it, but I feel like if you put an EKG on your brain for like the boomers who love like the Kofifi like tweet, I feel like those are the same people who like love the five foot three thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't explain like, it. They're like, yeah, Trump just said, "Yeah, you're right." Man. Now he's he's done for. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Anybody else still say Kofifi and just like your brain is ruined, or is it only me? No, I just I come over like you want some Kofifi. I'm like, yeah, I still do that. You still do this. It's still do this. It's embarrassing. I'm I'm ashamed. It's good syllables. Speaking of shame, though, let's get to our last main story on the docket here. This is important. This no, is maybe the most important. Pay attention, people. Now, this is for for Grant, of course. Those of you who have been listening for some time to the show know Grant is a bit of a shorts enjoyer. I'm wearing shorts <laughs> under my pants right now. I'm not. <laughs> imagine, imagine I just had a tubing moment right now. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. I'm I'm this guy. You know, I'm wearing shorts. 
I'm the green check and mark. He's in the green. Everybody relax. He's fine. Um, he's got a five inch inseam. No. So, I can't get my pants on off of my. I can't get my pants off off of my. Shoes. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> uh, so I there's not a fire right now. <laughs> so uh, Grant, you've been very vocal. You know the the winters in Chicago can be quite brutal. However, you continue to wear your shorts all year round. And you say it doesn't bother me. It's a lifestyle. It right? doesn't bother me. I actually I like it. I like pain. You gotta I like feel suffering. That pain. You gotta feel it. Yeah. It's good for you. No. I think that's a Charles Manson quote. <laughs> Jordan Peterson. Right there. He's like, it is a Charles Manson quote. Thank you for the clarification. So we 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 see something like this and I don't know. Now I'm I'm self conscious. Somebody calling? Uh, I'm self conscious <laughs> because I see this, and I'm like checking all my pants at home, and I'm freaking out, like, oh my god, how, how long's my end scene? How wide is it? Am I going to look like uh, Kevin Smith? Yeah, have you guys ever seen Kevin Smith's famous George? Oh, they're great. You can fit a fucking tour bus in that thing. I'll, I don't know, I, I think that's cool, but like, I think the energy that was used to express it was just like really crazy. It like, is George. Oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Shit. He's a multi-millionaire. He's come a long way. He doesn't dress like this anymore. No, no he still like, he still dresses like this. He just lost weight. Now he's he dresses crying. exactly. Like this. No, he's crying all the time because he misses his large pants. <laughs> you guys ever seen the fucking crying Kevin Smith? Like, just saw Star Wars. I'm crying and I'm taking a picture of it. I my favorite thing about like the five inch thing is like all that happened is for a year people were locked inside going horny. And they're just now they're just demanding like men show their legs more. That's what happened. Uh, Everyone was inside crazy yeah. for a year, just like we want this more. Is, this is the real look. Yeah, okay, this is oh, daddy, the Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> look at that basketball shorts, flexible, huge inseam. This is I don't know. Like I grew up in the Jewish part of Chicago, like Skokie. This is like what the Jewish alpha looks like. <laughs> <laughs> King of the pack, you know. That's where they got they got like the good ice cream at their house, you know. <laughs> they got a basketball court. Oh yeah, beautiful. You, if you grew up, did you grow up on the North Shore? You know that that's a thing. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay. If you grew up like Northbrook, Jewish dads have the good ice cream. That's a little and the best shorts and the best shorts. Yeah. So this has caused a war on the internet over. <laughs> of course it did. Of course. <laughs> Because you can't have fucking nice things. No, yeah, this person, like, I, I went to the post today, the, the uh, OP, the original post, and the person was, like, getting ripped apart. Like, I just went to the first reply, I don't even want to show because it, it was so nasty, but, like, this person had to, like, defend all this personal stuff about themselves because so many people were mad about this diagram. They couldn't just accept that maybe their shorts were a little too big. I swear to God, I bet there's a QAnon like conspiracy theory right now. Like the liberals want us to not have tactical gear in our cargo shorts anymore. <laughs> I guarantee that's like a yeah. theme of spring. Like they want to take our our pants, people. They're trying. It's, it's too tight. You know, it cuts off the sperm. You can't procreate. They're trying to stop the Western civilization. I can't take my storm and capital knife around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, Gosh yeah. dang liberals. <laughs> Can you imagine if that happened in the summer? How many of these large shorts we would have seen? <laughs> oh, no, no, what? This is, no, no. I'm I'm a leftist. I just like cargo shorts. <laughs> <sighs> I took my cat to the vet, and they gave me a bunch of shit. So I was just the guy who left with a bunch of cat mess in my cargo shorts. Like, oh, this is what it's meant for. Yeah, <laughs> and that's an exception I'm willing to make, and hopefully they will as well. So. Let's punish them, though. Uh, these people who are telling us how we can wear our freaking shorts. I don't like it. I'm saying, um, wear some, wear some pants like a grown up. You know, some full length pants. They touch your ankles. They go all that shit. All the way to the bottom. No, no. <laughs> when it's well, cold I'm, outside. I'm currently breaking boundaries right now because, as everybody knows, you don't do comedy wearing shorts. Well, also, you're you like a, don't do Adam it. Sandler does, yeah. obviously. You, you, well, I mean, move like I mean, like stand up or like a live, like a live. You don't do live, co like it's an unwritten comedy. rule. It's an unwritten rule. Doing shorts, there has to be a grain of salt taken with what you're saying because you're beautiful. Like you, you, he squats every single day. You guys don't understand. And it's just like a Greek work of art. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, only just once a week. Okay. What's those stairs? Everybody knows those famous stairs. Because we've recorded the famous saw cop stairs. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> if you come over in person, and record an episode. You have to walk up uh, five 
stories of stairs. And that's why Grant's legs look so fantastic. <laughs> anyway. The, uh, what's the punishment here? What, I said the, pants. Oh, okay. I no, said not the opposite of pants. Um, uh, if, no you're, pants. if you're in any of these other categories, you gotta wear shorts during the winter. That's the only fair rule. Okay. You want them to feel the pain that you feel. Uh, yeah, I want everyone to feel that pain. <laughs> <laughs> Sociopathic. A little bit, yeah. Um, but let's move along. Let's get to something nice, something swell, something cool we saw this week. A little positivity goes a long way. Key to the city. I'm giving it to these guys, Grant. If you could pull off, you don't have to move oh, from the other oh, one. There's okay, no. I, uh, just oh, maximize I the window. Uh, yeah, I was going to move it out of the way. Click, now click the blue text. Now you're uh, hyperlink. I'm giving it to these guys, and hopefully this account doesn't lock anymore because it was for a little bit. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's watch this quick video. My key to the city goes to these guys. Hopefully I can make it in this round. We don't have to play the whole thing. Oh, we have to play the whole thing. Hi. Oh, yeah. Just sort of an advertisement for friends. And the reason I bring this in is because <laughs> they were getting roasted online. Like some people were like, yeah, fuck these guys. And I'm like, you know what? I'd hang out with them. <laughs> Can you guys hear this? Or is it like it's a little quiet? Yeah. Try the volume on your laptop. It's at hundred. Let these angels sing. Turn it up. <laughs> The other one off the TV. Basically, they're looking for friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. They used to have a bigger group. There's just two of them now. They're trying to find their posse. They're yeah. trying to form a new posse. Sure. Maybe six. Yeah. Seven, I think it'd be too big. It's too many. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe an odd number. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Puppies. We don't get those here, I don't think. Uh, anyway, not worth waiting for it to load. <laughs> no. You do get the picture. They get my key to the city. They're perfect. They are perfect. Um, <laughs> speaking of things that are perfect, uh, Aaron, what's your key to the city? Something nice. Give it to us. I don't know. The baristas have been nice to me lately. The baristas? <laughs> my neighborhood. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, just if you're a barista, you laugh at like my bad jokes. Like, that's thank you for that. Um, Were you complaining about that earlier? Well, no, that was, that was a different neighborhood. Okay. What, well, what he's mentioning is, like, if a barista, like, hate fucks me, like, with their eyes, and just, like, Jesus. You know what I mean? Just, like, if they're just, like, you say thank you, and they just look at you like, fuck you. You know, like, you know, like what I do is I just double down. I'm like, thank you so much. God bless. You know, like, I just, like, I go into Midwest. Kill them with kindness. I, no, it's just, like, sadistic Midwest niceness. You know, like, it's not good. It's, but I, la I lash out with politeness. It's toxic. Um, but my key to the city goes to the Brisos who like my pinky in the brain shirt. Thank you for that compliment, Carol. <laughs> Carol, you get this week's choosing. Local heroes. Yeah. Real ass dude of the week. I'll tell you who doesn't get my key to the city. Converse All-Stars. I can't get them off. <laughs> oh, I'm free. Uh, my key to the city this week goes to the fans. Hey, look at this. Hey, we're all out. Hey, I didn't have anything to do with it. How lazy. There's like crowd work stuff. You guys are not doing it. Uh, I mean, that's, that was, we just did it. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Yeah. The crowd's been worked. So you guys are great. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move right along, though. Um, what does that say? There? Thought Cops Word of the Week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Did week's, we do that? This week's Thought Cops Word of the Week is Blue Light Lobotomy. So when you stare at your phone screen or your computer screen so long, you're looking at social media all day, all week, that you start to feel like you had a lobotomy because you, you feel like it's all mush up there. And that's how I feel sometimes. I think I watched so much Sopranos that it broke my brain over the last year. I think that happened to a lot of people over quarantine. They just got <laughs> Soprano killed and just became like <laughs> zombies. Gabagool, gabagool. That's how we know that you're a real leftist, Aaron, is because you you read the theory. Yeah. <laughs> Sopranos. It, Sopranos is... Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> Favorite character. Yeah. I, the worst thing I've ever done was I told... I, I was on Hinge and I, I explained to someone like why 
Smith of Grounds is leftist, and I just stopped replying. Just like that's the, just the worst dude ever. That is <laughs> the lamest dude. Yeah, I'm in the <laughs> Ashley, Tony represents toxic masculinity. Oh, how was your day? Just nothing. I, it's not her fault. I got sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And maybe we'll do it again. Uh, anyway, um, uh, plugs, I guess. This is a part of the show my brain starts to crap out. It really is. Consistently every week for four years. It's just like, what's the? what do we do now? Please, I have no idea. Raise your hands on the air for me, please. I'm doing the Genki Dama, the spirit bomb, uh, Goku's technique. Of course, you know the Japanese word for King that. Kai, please give me your energy so I can defeat... Uh, Maja Boo. <laughs> okay, plugs. Well, Aaron, where can we find you? Uh, I make uh, dang all silly videos. You can find on uh, ClockTube on Instagram, K L O P P E T U B E, uh, or on YouTube it's called ClockTube. Wait, Instagram is Clopagram. You guys aren't gonna fucking look at it anyway. <laughs> Uh, and then YouTube is clock tube. And on Twitter, I just kind of live tweet my mental illness. Uh, Aaron <laughs> underscore, underscore clock for, uh, so just go ahead and enjoy that. And, Check it out. Uh, and I go to Collectivo Coffee in Wicker Park. Uh, I've been hanging out there a little bit lately. If you want Guys, to see me in the brain t-shirt. No, right we now. meant like your social media, not like where you hang oh, out. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting the whole big picture here. Oh, oh and my, my TikTok is clock talk. Yeah. I like your brand. That's the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> Are you the real Kevin? <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. I think I'm, I think I'm done. Uh... Okay, so you can follow us if you're not following us. If you don't know who the heck we are, uh, Grant and I, we're the Thought Cops. You can follow us on Twitter, at Real Thought Cops. We're on Instagram, at Thought Cops. Uh, YouTube.com. Just go type in the website URL, search field, thought cops, hit that, you'll you'll find us pretty quick. We put up video versions of the episode. If you want to see this horrifying event again next week, you can check it out on our YouTube. And a big shout out to our producer, Swig, who couldn't be here tonight. He makes it all happen. We put it through the ringer. We're like, hey, Swig, do this, do that, try this, try that. And he's like, guys, shut up. The only guy I know who has a tattoo of himself. I know no other people. Yeah, but that was shocking when I found that Wait, out. I just felt nauseous. Wait, could you explain that? He has a, tattoo. He has a, lo a logo that was made with MS up. Paints. Can we bring that up real quick? I don't know where I can find it. Is Twitter. Or we don't have to. Oh, it's nice. low on battery. Low battery. Yeah, fuck it. We're not doing it. Imagine it in your head. It's a guy with glasses and dug funny hair. <laughs> uh, let's, play, let's play this Discord news. Oh, oh yes. another, <laughs> another segment, too. Uh, I'm going to play, I'm going to hit play on this. Um, make sure to close this, out of this. I got to, I got to plug this in like real quick. So now this comes to our, our wonderful fans. So many people are in the crowd. We do it. Um, we're going to play this because we got a wonderful discord. All of our fans hang out in there. Uh, they tell us what to talk about every week. We sort of work for them kind of thing. Um, you ready, Grant? Yeah, go ahead and hit play. Yeah! Woo! I love this singer! This is a special edition of Discord News. Bring you all the news worth reporting from the virtual streets of New Chicago. When Nico posted a picture of her dog, informally known as the racist, taking a walk in Normie's safe space, one poster responded with, quote, out looking to commit a hate crime. <laughs> she later revealed that her mom and significant other are now also referring to the dog as quote, the racist. A real pug like ticks. Serial lunch enjoyer said her girlfriend was called a fascist for wearing a mask at the DMV. Ah yes, the DMV, the perfect representation of fascism. The gay curse of Gayfield has been passed from Fender Belts and real tree to three to a daughter. Who is so not I say for anybody on every who's... single day of the week, know. confusing all of the members of the Discord and turning them gay. Soil <laughs> levels have reached levels not thought possible, even exceeding those of last year's Nintendo Directs. <laughs> to put the cherry on top, Kevin admitted to even having a dream about it. There's <laughs> <laughs> a picture of a woman crushing a watermelon with her thighs. God, 
I wish that were me. My <laughs> ball dodger posted a video of a woman crushing a watermelon with her thighs. I saw God. that. Dodger posted a video of a woman crushing a watermelon with her thighs. God, I wish that were me. Ball Dodger posted a video of a woman crushing a watermelon with her thighs. God, I wish that were me. I posted a video of a woman crushing a watermelon with her thighs. Jesus God, Christ. I wish that were me. <laughs> this week's news. Discord. <laughs> this week's Discord news has been presented to you by the Discord news team. Leo the Incredible, Slime, and Cashew. <laughs> Let's give it up for all those people. Get that man up here, right there. I.O. Ball Dodger. Explain yourself. Shorts <laughs> King? Yes. Uh, hey, which of these mics? Uh, that, that, that mic right there. You can sort of pull that to a more visible vantage point. I thought this was like an Andy Richard deal where like I get the fuck off stage or something. <laughs> no, no, no. You say. Okay. How are you? You drove a long way to be here, isn't that right? Eight hours. Eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> Eight hours. Yes. I don't know about that. But I, I really do appreciate that. So you are a member of the esteemed Discord News along with our German friend Josef. Yes. Now, did you, do you want to have your head squashed? Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're here in Neo Chicago, anything can happen. We'll see what happens uh, this weekend. But I want to say, you know, we're going to start off with you up here. Uh, this is the audience participation segment of the show. You can bring up your own two minutes of paint. What's bothering you? Now, this is uh, unofficially, officially sponsored by Jepson's Malort. Uh, if anybody would like to take a shot, I have Dixie uh, Dixie cups here. I think they're just called bath cups at Walgreens. Um, you can do a shot. Okay, I'll do one. Uh, and what better, and what better way to enjoy your evening weekend? I thought it was weekend. What better way to enjoy your weekend than with a, with a beverage that loves your hometown as much as you do? Shoot Jepson's Malort, the spirit of Chicago. It's wormwood-based schnapps, so next time someone tells you to pick your poison, you can. And you can have Arch and Powell on the exports, be it your drink of choice or your last resort, the results are the same when you're drinking the when you're drinking Malort. They did not pay us to do that. We just do that. I don't know. That's not cool they did though. Doesn't bath cup sound like a Great Depression booze or something? Like, oh, Pa's been hitting the bath cups pretty hard. <laughs> No, the factory shut house. down. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's like house. this is not. This shouldn't be legal. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some? Okay. <laughs> now, so do the shot and then do your two minutes. Yeah, we'll uh, get this ready for you. Uh, it's more sparingly because there's not a lot of. It, it tastes it. like hazing. <laughs> <laughs> you got the whole thing. It's like two shots worth. This, <laughs> this one's for Yosef. That is the big one. Oh. Woo! Now, how, does that, how does that feel? It's like it's bad. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> now, what's your two minutes of pain? <clears throat> hey, Thought Cops. I'm that runner here. <laughs> and this week, my two minutes of hate. Classic. I love when he says it like that. Charmeleon. Charmeleon? Yeah. Oh, oh, the Pokemon. He, listen, Brandon, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bring up, bring up uh, the whole Charizard line. Oh boy! What? Can we bring up the Charizard line, please. The Charizard line. Who the Charizard? What are they? Now I'm pulling things up on the fly. I can't even pull up things that we planned to pull up. <laughs> I saw a Charizard in the clouds the other day. I what? You just want me to Google Charizard? Yeah, like, but I gotta see all evolution. Oh, the line. In, type in. Uh, like everybody, everybody loves this Charmander. He's like the original fire guy. He looks cool. He's round and orange and he's cute. And eventually he evolves into Charizard. There you go. Is this yeah, what you want? Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a problem with this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look at this cute little fire guy. And then, like, you got this big badass fire guy who's also orange. Right. And you just have, like, this red, ugly middle dude that, like, <laughs> he's bad. He's a teenager. Yeah, he's ugly, too. Yeah, he's a teenager. <laughs> yeah. That's a teenage Pokemon. Those are awkward years. Yeah. Like, I like it. What's your fucking problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your problem Does anybody have a problem with Charmeleon? Look at this cute little guy. He's, yeah. he's red. Why is he red now? <laughs> 
Why is he red? Puberty! And then yeah. he goes back to orange? He's angry. Yeah. He's, he's angsty. <laughs> he's doing HBA. I don't like it. Man, I don't know. <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking one you've ever come up with. You, you have this, <laughs> a lot of relevant voicemails like, hey, I hate this thing on Twitter. I hate this thing on Instagram. Now you're like, I hate this one thing. I hate Charlie. <laughs> <Charlie's laughs> well, everybody loves them. I, yeah, I do. I prefer balls. Personally, okay. you're not like the other girls. <laughs> I'm the other. Okay, okay, pick me. <laughs> What's yeah, the punishment, though? Uh, everybody has to like Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, okay. Yeah. I, I was one of the kids. I had red version, and I did choose Bulbasaur because I wanted to be there. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. All right. Um, Anybody else? More like, audience participation. I respect you speaking speaking your mind. Truth to power. Thank you. Know, we may disagree with oh, you. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is that Brandon Kirkman? I hey, see. hey, it's your boy Brandon Kirkman. Um, man, I can't believe how packed it is, audience at home right now, and how much everybody loves the show. Uh, I want to give my two minutes of hate real quick, which is right now on Twitter. There's a very popular meme going around that just says the person in the movie, and it's a picture of a person and the movie they like next to it. I know that one. And I was thinking about how stupid all discourse is now because I thought back to when I was in kindergarten. There's a weird kid that would go around and he'd tell people, my favorite movie is The Line Before Time. <laughs> and that person's more sociable than anybody on Twitter is doing that right now because at least they can just fucking say what movie they like. So <laughs> right, right. 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 Anyways. Hey, here's a picture of me and here's my fucking movie. It's like... It's like, yeah, a kindergarten again. Yeah. It's just like talk, it's an excuse to talk about yourself. Yeah, it's and that's very, all we can relate to each other I on. Think, I think the pandemic turns all like the parakeets like looking in a mirror. Like that's just yeah. what's happening yeah. right now. I think my, my, my punishment for it is that everyone who's done that should be too mint. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> Please, tell me this is what I think it is. I hope this doesn't blow I'm a professional. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Voice Still going. I got a real juicy one. I hope you flush points. Thank you. Uh, okay. Who wants to go next? Anybody. Anybody that wants to do a two minutes. Why don't you go yeah. up? You're volunteering. You guys heard me talk. There's nothing to lose. Okay. Don't point at other people and Y'all say, can uh, uh, hey, oh, hey, Brandon, did you, did you want this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go take it. Give me a shot, too, okay. actually. I want that bathtub. Give me a bathtub. Also, Aaron, can I have some yeah. of the water after? Like? I swear I'm not paused. You, you got the Moderna? You got Pfizer? I got the J&J. You get your own fucking water. No! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> you guys are Thank you. Now, you, you, you called, you, you interrupted the show as they like to pretend you did with the Grimes. No, that was Gay Rhymes. I'm sorry. That was Gay Rhymes. That gay was a meme. I didn't know she was a Tamers fan, by the way. I saw that background with Sonic and Bartleby. You see, like, the, that her and Elon have, like, the Ori Emo, like, brother and sisters, their icons, like, yeah. romantically, right? Yeah. Like, she's definitely, like, online and has secret accounts. Like, you know that, right? She's just trying to say, like, it's actually not that bad to own property. They're not real <laughs> siblings. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, my two minutes of hate, it's actually COVID-related. Um, there's, yeah, it, okay. it's over, by the way. Let's give it up for the virus. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's this, like, thing that I always see where it's like, I don't want to wear my mask, but I want people to think I'm a Republican. And it's like, why do you care? This isn't high school. You shouldn't care what people think about you. You're an adult. Yeah. You should be secure in your own opinions. I sit at the mask table at lunch. Yeah, I mean, I wear a mask when I, when I, I wear a mask if I go to the grocery store and still because I'm ugly. But like, oh, come on. <laughs> but um, you shouldn't care about what other people think. You're, yeah, you're, 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 you 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 can be secure in yourself. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. Believe, believe in the dude that believes in me. Yeah, That's nice reference. Nice Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers. Bottom up. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'll do it. Yes, sir. Come on up. Come right up. Yeah. What's up? So is this, it's two minutes of hate? Yeah, yeah something that's, like, bothering you. Something that's bothering you. Besides us. Yeah. Aside from comedy and... Ch- no, go <laughs> off. Yeah. Go off, no. please. No, I, I appreciate it. Um, God, what do I hate? Uh, 
Anyone who voted for Liz Warren in the primary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are they now? Where are they now? Yeah. Oh, they were listening to Pod Save America and shagging off alone in their <laughs> bar. <laughs> um, no, what do I hate? Uh, I hate people who don't like the TV show Bar Rescue. <laughs> How fucking dare you dislike the greatest television show of all time? Am I allowed to do bits here, or is that like... <laughs> I, was, I think I saw you do the bar rescue bit last week. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled it. I'll do, I'll do two. I'll do two. Yeah. Let, me, let me cue myself. I mean, they weren't there. That's fine. Well, I, also, I like the fact where it was like, what do I hate? I hate people who don't like the thing. <laughs> I, mean, just, just so much I agree. Yeah, whatever. That's I agree. The show. All right. So my favorite thing about the television show Bar Rescue is that my second favorite television show is Intervention. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, they're they're very different shows, but they're also the exact same show for the first fifteen seconds. <laughs> Have you ever? I'm so sorry for just <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 at least yours are formulated. Ours are just like on the fly. And yeah. yeah, no, at least you guys are talented, and I'm like, well, so uh, no, we, it, it takes us like. Three minutes to move one window to the other. Yeah, <laughs> man, that's difficult. Well, I'm a, I, I am a uh, Aaron and I are mutuals, and I uh, I am a Thought Cops fan, so okay. I, I, I'm uh, I'm honored to be a part of this. Uh, but no, the first 15 seconds of uh, every episode of Intervention is like Brian's an alcohol. He's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt. He has PTSD from Afghanistan. He's addicted to painkillers. <laughs> and if he refuses treatment, his family will cut off all communication with him forever. And then every episode of Bar Rescue is like Brian's an alcoholic. <laughs> He's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt. He has PTSD from Afghanistan. He's addicted to painkillers. And we're going to give him the most bitchin' bar. <laughs> <laughs> We've ever seen in fucking life. So. My my favorite thing that they do. <laughs> so, this is not what you guys wanted. I'm sorry. Uh, We're loving it, folks. They, uh, they're not. Sure. Uh, <laughs> they will if I tell them. Yeah. Exactly. Just spin the wheel. Everybody yeah. loves the wheel. Wait, what is the wheel? The, the, so you the got the punishment after it. It's a whole little people who things. don't like bar rescue. Minecraft. My, my favorite thing, uh, Minecraft is uh, Bo Burnham made that movie Eighth Grade, and he, he talked about like doing research for it because like obviously the main character in it was like this girl like with a YouTube thing and like yeah. hey like so he watched like all of these children with like YouTube channels, uh, you know, talking into the camera. <laughs> he said he said every girl was like talking about their soul and every guy was just like every like 13 year old boy was just like so the thing about Minecraft <laughs> 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 that, was, that was a solid laugh I'm gonna get out of here thank you thank you thank you anybody else God, something God, bothering God, you God, think of this like I have therapy in a way you know you're gonna, I'm gonna laugh if you play your cards you right Somebody's Somebody. talking there. I wanted to not. Jimmy. Uh, whatever. Right. Let's go. <laughs> whatever. Right. Ooh, Ooh, come, on, come on, come on. Make some fucking noise for Hi, Hi, everybody. Wow. I'm the only one whose voice is gay enough to cause clipping. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really good in this. Uh, oh, wait. Not to interrupt you, but did you want a shot of this uh, swill? Yeah, why the fuck not? I'm really There's drunk lots. already. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so many uh, reasons why not. We have. Oh, God. We have just barely any left. That's you. That's oh, your, that's no, your drag. This is for the fans. <laughs> Let's give it up for the fans! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, giving them the drippings of the bottom of the bottle. How yeah, funny. I can pander you, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing really great at starting to figure it out. And you're, you're almost, <laughs> you can almost use a computer. Like, you guys have grown so much. It's like really <laughs> it's like inspirational to see. I can't even see you right now. That's how sick I am. Continue. <laughs> what the? I really love whatever so mystery good. illness you have. Like It's a cold. It's not a. Let's talk mystery. after the show. Just I want, don't mention I want being sick. People are very sensitive to that. <laughs> Just don't even bring it up. I'm vaccinated. I got my microchip. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I guess the one thing that I hate in the midst of like going back into society and like trying to be a normal person again is everyone is suddenly like, Oh my god, do you want to hang out? And 90% of the time, it's a no. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I really appreciated 14 months to be like, oh, I'm really worried about my health and everything, so I can't go do anything, and I can't hang out with you, and blah, 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 blah. Like, 
I got a break from everyone, and you want me to go back? There's a great <laughs> excuse to play Dragon Quest. <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Quest, I replayed uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake like three times already, and I'm gayer each and every run through. <laughs> um, they really were like, hey, how do we get our Twink Generation engine to really just max out here? And they did it. Um, I really can't wait to see what the PS5 is going to do. They're going to take that twink, generate it, and obliterate the it. Technology's <laughs> incredible. I really can't wait. Um, but yeah, so I'm really tired of people going like, do you want to like go out and do something? Because it's like, no. I don't want to do that unless it can be really, really fucked up, because that's what I'm used to now. <laughs> so your, your two minutes of hate is... My two minutes of hate is friends. people want me to go do things and do them like in a state of relative sobriety. <laughs> And at this point, it's either I'm going to be at my house praying alone and, like, you know, waking up at 5 a.m., eating oatmeal, wearing a hair shirt, and flogging my own back, or... What's a hair shirt? What does any of those words mean? <laughs> I thought this was a Christian podcast, but they have been misled. Um, or, uh, you know, I want to, like take whatever I had hiding in that pill bottle that I said was like fun club drugs and probably isn't, but like that's what they're there for and I forgot what they are. Um, and then like pupils the size of dinner plates leave my phone at home, like vanish down a gutter. There's there's those two extremes and no one understands that I don't want fucking dinner anymore. I'm tired of fucking dinner. I'm tired of trying to find like a pleasant, like vegan friendly options place. Like we are either not speaking or we are going out and getting so fucked up we can't speak. <laughs> and I'm really tired of trying to find this stupid fucking middle ground. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, I, I suggest lunch, my friend. <laughs> that will require me to ground. eat during daylight hours. And like, we haven't quite gotten there yet. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if anyone hasn't already been able to tell, uh, isolation has been really great for me. Um, <laughs> it's done wonders for my psyche, and I really can't wait to uh, voluntarily embrace it while the rest of you go out and enjoy sunlight and the rest of that shit. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait to have like an even further gulf of experience between now and several months when you still can't use a computer, yeah. you still can't figure out what yeah, media people are actually like, like yeah. and you are going to have some really grippy socks, and I can't wait. Oh, oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're suggesting I'll have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Stroger might have a few pairs left. I don't know. It depends on where you land. But good luck, buddy. Uh, this one's for you. Cheers. Woo! Woo! I really wish someone had, like, a bad hunting costume and their two minutes hit was like, I hope you want me to eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't the audience plan ahead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course I you. Just kind of giving me go up. Like, what? Uh, anybody, anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, anybody uh, anybody cereal all there? Is there something you want to go yeah, off? Yeah, go no, off. I don't, I don't, I don't eat anything. You don't hate it? That's no. true. You no, listen to the not. show. You hail now. You don't have to go up if you don't want to. Anybody else? I see a body Tristan's in the back. There. Moving off to the front. <laughs> Tristan! Tristan! Okay. Former guest of the show. And future guest of the show. And presently here with us. <laughs> nice birthday. Thank you for yeah, recapping. It's, it's, I don't have to do any of that. It's fine. Am I the only black person in the room? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was just curious. It's not, that, I don't hate that. I was just uh, saying, do you want some of this? I actually don't. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There's not much left. Yeah. I, I quit drinking for the pandemic. Okay, well, this is not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I do I, like how all, anytime someone who does stand up walks up here, they immediately grip the mic correctly. They're just like, yeah, <laughs> I do this all the time. Uh, yeah, a little bit about me. Uh, <laughs> well, everybody else is like, what is camera, this? So, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, generally, I, I uh, have two minutes eight for white people as a culture. That's fine. But specifically, <laughs> specifically, I dislike uh, short, uh, bald white men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any in particular? I'm not bald. Oh, yeah, you're all I thought it was like a call yeah. No. <laughs> like I'm wearing a wig, I don't know. About. You're taller than me. Like I would uh by an inch. Uh but like it's yeah, it's um I do what I can. Specifically, like I don't know, they've been very annoying in my life lately. Uh, I don't know. I was at a bar the other day, and a short, baldy, uh, like, kept pressing himself up against the bar glass, and like, 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 pretending like he was in Titanic, I guess, and like, what? I know it was very, like, like, Kate Winslet in Titanic with a hand against Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and he thought this was alluring to everyone in the bar, and it was just very annoying, and it's he kind of, he made everyone's night worse. We were at a memorial. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of a it was kind of a, a low key wake and uh, <laughs> low key wake. It's kind of, it's, 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 it's three years after the person died. We were just having like like a celebration of their life. Okay, but uh, um, yeah, it just kept interrupting 
<laughs> memorial by pressing his bald head against the glass in his chest. Uh, um, right. and, then, uh, and then he took a picture with Bobby Budge. <laughs> yes. It was just it was awful. It was terrible. That is, yeah, that's bizarre. Has anybody else done that? Gone to a wake and pressed their bald head against a plate of glass? Anyone? You? Okay, just one. Yeah. George Costanza would fucking hate you, dude. Yeah. Well, he's not fully bald. I, he's fine to me. He's not fully bald? Or at least well, on the show, he wasn't fully bald, right? Didn't he have, like, like the test in the back? Or yeah, he's on, like, like so Joe Rogan level. Okay, so you're just talking about, like, shaved head. Well, no, like, like they can't grow it anymore, so it's just it's just nothing. I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Like ball, ball <laughs> shaved. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I guess maybe they have like, like, like well, pieces <laughs> left, but they just shave off the I'm rest. Like, like Brian Erlacher, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like short yeah, Brian Erlacher. I've seen the billboards. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess my punishment is to uh, to give them the restore. Uh, probably, probably causes cancer that we'll find out in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's like I'm gonna fucking drive to the airport. It's like 15 of those. <laughs> hey, you could have air again. It's like. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be con- there's gonna be consequences. We don't know what they yeah. are. Yet. That's good. Maybe that caused COVID. <laughs> it's really small fine print on the billboard. You have to like pr- like walk up the ladder to see it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for letting me uh, rant against uh, a small. Yeah, thank you. Can I, can I make a quick plug? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I really have my COVID bucket list. I really want to go to a rave. If anyone has like rave friends, <laughs> is there a rave don't, happening? Tonight? Don't you guys want like to? Go do like the fucking do 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 no. do. I saw yeah, that yeah. The do, do, do. I don't know. Like I feel like you that's like the glow sticks. The glow sticks. You're talking about sticks. ecstasy. Yeah, I want to do that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Ideally, in a warehouse with music, as opposed to just like at a bar with four people. You know? Yeah, yeah. We'll Either figure or. it out. Yes. Well, there you go. All right. right. How about that? Yeah. Uh, anybody else? We can do like maybe one more. Thing. We got. I want that. We can play the drug deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, Thank you for Drug coming. In. Uh, we have enough for one in here. Does anybody want to go for one the, last? The uh, dare program. We don't have to. And I know this stuff. Some some people don't like it. I do. Uh, but I don't want anyone. This is for the fans. Let's give it up for the fans. Everybody who came here tonight. Pat yourself in the back. Uh, no. I guess that's it. I guess then. that's it. Fuck it. I guess that's it. We're, that's it. Show's over. Go home. Let me let me check my notes. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, check your notes. <laughs> No, that's it. That's it. He's right. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, thank you all for coming. Um, oh, yeah. the yeah. oh, you can listen to us on uh, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, uh, Google.com, Stitcher, whatever. Spotify. And you can uh, support the show at patreon.com slash thoughtcops because you get access to the live chat. Imagine this, but in front of, behind a computer screen. It's kind of like that. Ooh. Imagine this, but a. Uh, Magical audio fairy uh, edits it down so it's listenable. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Well, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not good at goodbyes, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> Are you going to do an Irish goodbye and just walk please, off the stage? I can, can say that. Play, the song, say play that. the song and I'll be like saying stuff. See you, space cops. Yes. You ain't the motherfucking dog cops. You don't get to tell me what my face sounds like.